You're gonna wanna stick around to find out because a big, late-breaking, huge, major shift in our lives. Okay, in this week, just went down. <laughs> we'll share that with you guys next. Hello and good morning everyone. We are standing out front of this beautiful vacation property we've been staying at. It's an incredible home. We thought, let's give them a tour today, should oh we? Oh my gosh, it's absolutely amazing. We want you guys to check it out with us. This home sits in the Rancho Santa Fe area. It's got its own private gate. It is a sprawling estate, you guys, with a circular driveway. It's got, I don't even know, I should look it up. I think five bedrooms, it sleeps 13 people. There's enough space for everybody, but enough talk. Let's go check this place out. Come on. We are going to walk you through this entire place today. It is a gorgeous home with a lot of incredible features built in. We've been enjoying this for a few days. So I'm just gonna go and take you on a walking tour of the place. There are probably some chances that I will miss something because there are places that we are still finding in here. But to start things out, you walk in this front entryway and you have this gorgeous wood ceiling, stone walls, stone arches. It's just this incredible, we've been calling it the lobby. It's like a hotel lobby as you walk in here. Opens up into this big front room where Brexit Doodle's hanging out. Now we haven't honestly spent tons of time here because been outside mostly but you've got a piano this gorgeous dining area over here again haven't eaten any meals here but if you wanted to it's got a huge table for a family to sit fireplaces all over the place so this is as you first walk in guys the first thing you see is this incredible stunning entryway we'll go down this hall in a minute show you all of the fun and entertainment down there but let's start in the bedrooms you go to your left you come down in here beautiful tile floors and we're gonna start right here in the master suite where hazy girl what are you doing because we've got kids, we've got Disney Junior playing up on the TV there. Got a couple of sitting chairs here, a fireplace. Now, because we are in the vlog life, for us, this turns into a charging dock and editing station right here. A couple of fun sitting chairs where mom and I have done editing and been on our laptop. We've got the master bed. Big, beautiful bed. Looks straight out into the backyard, which we will show you. This is, in my opinion, the greatest part of this home is this backyard, so we'll get out there in just a minute. I gotta show you guys the bathroom inside of this master suite right here. This bathroom is no joke. This bathroom has two shower heads just chilling right there. Full stream waterfall style showers. If you felt like having a party, there's enough room for that as well. You've got sinks on either side, a gorgeous giant jetted tub in the middle. You've got a private bathroom inside there. And now I'll show you guys the closet that Mindy will be asking for forever after leaving this house. Walk in here, two sides, massive closet. Now, of course, if you've traveled with us before, you know that Mindy does love to unpack, move in. So immediately when we got here, she was immediately hanging things, putting them on shelves. In fact, she was so incredible as I was getting some things set up and doing some stuff with the vlog. She unpacked my stuff, placed it into shelves, hung it up on hanger so as you can see we don't even make a dent in this ginormous literal walk-in live-in closet so you have a massive closet here in the master bedroom the master bath so leaving the master suite heading just around the corner into this hallway here oh let me show you this we do have a nice laundry room facility right here you've got the washer and dryer tons of ample cabinet space beautiful countertops everything you need to get some laundry done if you're on vacation then we come in here oh Brexit Doodle's already chilling in his bed so this is where we've had Brexit and Hazy and one of the things that I love is there is plenty of room for sleeping for everyone in here everyone has their own bed plenty of space. We could put another person in this bed if we want. In fact, Hazy and Brex have been sharing a bed most nights just for fun. Look at this closet space in this bedroom. You've got all of this closet area right here. Two beds. And another feature that I love about this home, every single room has its own bathroom. There is no need to share a bathroom, shower, sink, toilet, anything. They all have their own. So this is the kids' bathroom in here that Brex and Hazy have been sharing. This has been their room while we've been here. Actually, your guys' beds are made. I'm pretty impressed by that. Nice job, you guys. <laughs> Your drip is just a water spring. You know what drip. You're going to the next room? Yep. Let's go show them Rye Guy and Kruby's room, should we? Then you come just around here, right next door. You got the big brothers. You got Rye Guy and Kruby sharing this room. Two beds for them. Closet right there for these guys. Fun little racing painting on the wall. Charging the Nintendo Switches here. And like I just said, their own bathroom, own shower. They've also got the waterfall style or the handle. Toilet sink completely separate just for them. Be especially helpful if you had a bunch of teenage girls who wanted quite a bit of time to get ready. The boys haven't spent a lot of time in the bathroom, but it is nice to have everyone have their own separate bathroom. Different, just the seven seas. I deal with life different, make the limits. Let's come down here, we'll go down the hallway. Back through the lobby area here in the opening. I can't get enough of how cool this looks. Back past this front room, past the big dining area, and this is one of my favorite features and I don't even know why. This is so rad. It's got this like lit ceiling. <laughs> you guys know I like things that are lit. But Michelle has been saying it kind of feels like you're on your way to like a spa. I just think it's this cool dome where I actually discovered that the lights turn on in there. Right off to your right here is kind of a big, what I'm calling the fancy restaurant style bathroom. You've got the big fancy gold sink. You got the blue marbly stuff there. 
Spin off for my style and identity. Better bounce back and get the cheddar cheese. Fancy lights in here. What do you got in here, Hazy Girl? You got the toilet? Oh, a toilet, everybody. They have the toilets. This is a beautiful bathroom. Leave the bathroom. Continue down the lit hallway, lit dome hallway, and we're going to work our way into the kitchen main hangout area. Come in here, and you are in the kitchen, you guys. It is so spacious. There is plenty of room. We've been hanging out here, all of us, and never does it feel crowded or like you're up against anyone else. We've got so many amazing cabinets. We've got this middle center island with its own sink, open range stove, oven down below. We've got a microwave built in right here. This is actually fresh filtered drinking water that you can get right out of the tap right there. Second sink over there that overlooks the pool. We're almost there, people. Big open bar area here. You can look out. We had the party last night. Maddie's graduation. If you haven't seen that video, check that out. TV in this room. The kids can watch some YouTube and hang out. Hazy Girl, why don't you show us the big double wide fridge? Open this bad boy up. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous fridge. And each one of these is a fridge freezer drawer. So this is like a refrigerator all the way down. Refrigerator, refrigerator. This is a freezer all the way down. Freezer, freezer, freezer. We have ice cream, right? And it's right there. Just I guess that's why they envy me On track, now we gon' way up just off the kitchen area here. We've got a fun little spot to eat. There's a nice little dining nook that's surrounded by windows, which is nice to be able to look out. Right through here, let's show you this front room. Kids can hang out. We've been watching some YouTube here, checking out the vlogs as they come up. A nice big hangout area with a big old moose head. In case you're into moose, they got those. But we've also got a pool table right here. Sound system throughout, so there's speakers in all of the corners. Entertaining or watching TV or just playing some music. Plays throughout this whole room here. And the bedrooms continue, guys. Just off here, we've got another bedroom. This is where we've got Dan and Shell staying is in here. And they have got, it's kind of like a master study almost. It's got a huge desk with a bunch of shelving up here. Bedroom, again, their own bathroom, TV in the wall, closet. These guys have set up shop in here. Plenty and plenty of bedrooms, a lot of sleeping space. Each one has its own kind of unique look, kind of feel. Now, this one is a very cool one. Got us pretty giddy when we checked in. Let me just get the lights on. Just off of this main front room here, you come in here. And this is like the bedroom because it has a pullout couch and so this is where we've got Maddie staying when she sleeps with us here but it is like this sports memorabilia hall of fame dream room we've got signed football helmets signed tennis balls like those are very oversized tennis balls signed basketballs volleyballs footballs everything the sports lover could want or dream of right here in this room you guys this is a super rad room in fact if you guys know the history of the Binghams we actually grew up in Virginia in Washington DC we were huge Washington Redskins fans so this is a Super Bowl football Football from the year that they beat the Buffalo Bills in the Super Bowl 37 24 also happens to be just a year or two after we moved from DC to Utah so significant football that randomly happened to be here in this home Inside of this, like I just keep saying, guys, there's another bathroom. This one is huge. It's got a big shower over here, toilet, big area to get ready, some closet space, another sink. And all of these areas, I haven't even shown this. Just about every single room in this house has a door that will exit directly out into the yard. And we're about there. The yard is the feature piece of this entire place. And so there is windows and exits to the outside from almost every single room, which is also a really rad feature. As you leave that room, you come back through the main room, come through the kitchen. Oh, hi, mom. Hello. <laughs> then you come back out here, and we're going to show you now. Now, the feature piece of this entire property is the most stunning, insane, feature-filled, entertainment-heavy backyard I've ever seen. I got his, his band like I'm Barry Bonds. Running through the money, but the money's long. I don't love it, but I need to keep it coming on. Only friendly me and friends, we don't get along. I put that on my name, that I put them on. This backyard has it all. You walk straight out from the kitchen main room. You're here at this big gigantic dining table where we've been having most of our meals right out here, poolside, outdoors. We've got these fun stone columns and archways that look out into the beautiful setting out there. So many palm trees reminding you that you are in gorgeous, sunny SoCal, San Diego. A fun sitting area. Now there are sitting areas throughout. I've picked some of my favorites. This is one we've been using quite a bit. Just got a nice couch, a chair. There's a fireplace and a TV that you can hang out. Exits from every Everywhere, out into this backyard from absolutely every area just off here this is the master bedroom you come out here you've got a place to sit look out now guys the foliage I don't know the word the gardening here the landscape there you go the landscape is breathtaking they've got these purple flowers beautiful palm trees wild orchids I'm making that up but that little yellow thing looks like it could be you've got just everything you could need for a picture postcard backyard experience here so this is where we have been spending almost our entire time here on vacation is right out here at this pool I'm gonna show you guys the pool if you saw last night's video we had a 
little barbecue out here and one of my personal dreams was to stand poolside at a built-in barbecue cooking up some burgers for my family while they swam in the pool. That happened last night. Make sure you check out that video if you haven't seen that. Here is the outdoor barbecue setup. You've got a fridge right there. You've got the barbecue. You've got a sink. There's another sitting area. They're just everywhere. There's a fun little spot to sit and eat if you want to out here outdoors. This property is large. The scale is massive. I'm going to show you everything that it has out here to entertain you, your family, guests, and any number of people that you'd want to have come over and enjoy this with you. I might book a session, do a honey song. As I walk down to the pool here, one thing I forgot to mention, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but the two windows right there at the sink open up wide, completely open, so you can hear and be part of all of the fun out here at the pool. But guys, check it out. You make your way down these steps over to this pool. This is a giant pool, plenty of room for a large family or a large gathering to play in and never get bored. It's got an attached hot tub right there, all controlled by an iPad in the house. The heat, the jets, everything. Been hanging out of the hot tub at night, the pool during the day. It does have lighting in the pool, so the pool is lit. <laughs> and this is kind of fun. We've been talking about almost the entire time how aesthetically pleasing the pink flamingo paired with the yellow pineapple have been for both pictures and just when you look up, you're taking in your own little slice of paradise. Something about those two really tie it all together, really pull it all in, pull it all in. <laughs> I'm so punny today. Here's where we've been spending most of our time, you guys, out here at the pool. And one of the reasons we went with this house when we were looking for a vacation home to rent is because we wanted to have a big pool. A lot of places that we looked at were either close to the ocean with no pool or they were inland a little bit with very teeny tiny pools. We wanted a large pool that the kids wouldn't get tired of throughout our trip because we thought when we booked the vacation that beaches were closed. We know Disneyland's closed, SeaWorld's closed. Everything that we were going to do is closed. So we thought this is going to be our one-stop vacation destination and everything we do will be here at this house. So it needs to have the most epic pool that we can find. And this was it. This fits the bill. The pool has been insane. It's been incredible. We haven't gotten tired of it for a second and it is lived up to the hype and then some. Again, around the pool, ample seating, tons of pool chairs, recliners, places to lay out, talk, read. Let me just show you this before I move down into the rest of the yard. Let me show you one of my favorite spots over here. Something about the vibe of this area, surrounded by the trees. It's got this fun open air seating area right here. Now we've moved a couple things over here. We promise we'll move them back because this is where Maddie presented her gifts to her friends for their graduating senior year. We've got a fireplace. This light comes on at night. Just a very fun, completely open area. Spot right there for eating if you want. Nice little table and chairs. It looks out over the tent. Tennis court, which is where we'll go next. Guys, there's so much more to this property. This one, from the minute we checked in, the minute we walked out to the pool, this became immediately one of my favorite places. Take a look at the rest of this backyard. Off the pool, you've got a few ways down to the next part of the backyard. You've got this staircase here. Let's go ahead and take the route from my favorite little hut over here down to the tennis court. Just off the main pool area and off of this fun hut, got this walkway down here into this tennis court. Now this is a full size, ginormous, like look at the scope of it compared to these kids out here playing tennis. Ooh, nice hit, rag. I get it. Surrounded by palm trees, pure beauty, full 360 degrees, a huge tennis court, you guys. Full size tennis court. Got a basketball hoop over there if you wanted to play some basketball. We've been spending some time out here playing and some tennis for sure, especially crew and I. Every night we try and end with a little bit of tennis. Where should we go next? We've got the soccer field, the football field, the volleyball court. Where do you want to go next? Let's go volleyball court. Volleyball? Okay, let's yeah. do it. Getting to the volleyball court is a little bit of an adventure because you have all of these paths you can choose. You can go down this way. You could head off this way. You don't want to get lost though. Let's show you how you get there. You come back up these stairs, back out over here by the pool, head back up by the barbecue, and hang a left at the barbecue here. Walk down this path, past the seating area. By the way, I really like these stones right here. The square triangle diamond type stone. Anyway, okay, so you come back over here. Oh, and also I didn't say, back side of the barbecue area doubles as a nice giant bar to hang out so there you go there's that back past this over around here this is the study that had all of the cool football helmets Frog guy just noticed a lizard weren't in there. You got a lot of those like gecko lizards. I don't know exactly what they're called around the property, which is a lot of fun for the kids. Out through this gate, show you guys the driveway and parking situation here in a minute. We got our cars parked here. Down through these gigantic twin towers, past volleyball court into the volleyball sand pit. I get on to put my mans on Always greedy since the day I 
This is a pristine white sandy volleyball court with an official AVP volleyball net. They combed it and groomed it just before we got here so the sand was perfectly groomed, perfectly sand. You actually haven't spent a lot of time out here playing volleyball. If you were into volleyball, this is a real deal sand volleyball pit and court with an incredible view. Like I said, everywhere you are on this property, stunning views in full 360. Now this is just, you're wondering what this is, this is kind of like a shed with some storage. It's got some like an old foosball table, horse saddle, things like that. That's not an area that we've accessed at all since we've been here. Let's go show you some of the other fields and fun places to play here on this property. My first eight. Need a money counter, I broke my thumb from thumbing down. Got my little sporty crew do with me here. He and I love to play the sports around here at this complex. We're actually calling it the compound. We should call it the THWB compound. I like that name. Kind of a cool name. Walk past the pool down here. Now there's a fun walkway down into this area. So much walking area, so much property, you guys. What a beautiful home. That's all just surrounded by well manicured and well maintained landscaping, which only adds to the vibe. Back through here, you've got a lot of fun shaded areas, places to hang out and play. We're gonna show you this little soccer field. I'm not really sure if it's supposed to be a soccer field. It's just got like this cement ring around it and a soccer goal. So that's what we're calling it. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, with the amount of places to hang out and play and the amount of property there is to discover and enjoy, we haven't even been out here yet. We're showing you guys this for the first time as we're seeing it for the first time. We've got, I don't even know why, cement ring around it with grass, a big old rock, and a soccer goal. This is a place that you can kind of just throw the frisbee if you wanted to, kick a goal, or just go retrieve the tennis balls that come over the fence right there. And beautiful view. Give you an idea of where we're at right now. We are back down on the corner. The pool is just up there, the house right there, tennis court right there. Let's move over to this last open field over here. I think you only love me because I'm popping. Another reason we went with this place is because of all of the open land. Look at this. This is a huge, wide open, grassy field. It goes up, out, and all the way around to the front gate entrance to the home. This is where we can throw the football. We can throw the frisbee. Daniel even said it's a great spot to play croquet. All right, Daniel. Just a big, open, beautiful field for some fun with the family. You gotta catch this, bro. One and done. Here we go. Coming. Oh, and he catches it. Even as I look at this, it looks like a city park. It's so big and it's just your side yard. I mean, this whole area is just the side yard to this property. And again, I have to admit, we've been here for a few days. We haven't used this yet. We are seeing it and playing on it for the first time since we've been here. We've been spending a lot of time at the pool, you guys, mostly at the pool. As we come around the side yard, we're gonna go literally full circle, take you back to the front entrance gate. And another one of, I have a lot of, favorite feature pieces of this home, gigantic Moonlight Beach-esque palm tree in the center of the driveway. This a layup, this a rebound, then it's drive, man. Chasing with the fade, not the air, my hands rocking. When I link with ball point, you know it's not. To get into the property, there is a private gated entrance right here. You can type in a code or you can call into the house and then we can give them access to open this gate, drive into this circular driveway right here and it is a full circle. It goes back and around where you saw those cars parked. Oh, Daniel, out here freshening up the bike? Oh yeah, you can't ride dirty. <laughs> Look at this, this is Daniel's hog that he's been riding while we're out I here. Know. I rented the bike, but oh. my cousin hooked me up with the bike. I brought my own cleaning, <laughs> cleaning supplies. Cause... That's how you know he loves bikes, you guys. If he came with cleaning supplies to clean a rented bike and this is not his first time out here, he's been out here a few times cleaning this off. In fact, I'd say every morning he's been out here wiping it down. Well, there's so much stuff here, it all falls on the bike overnight. And you just care, you it's you love it. Down. I'm not putting my wife on a dirty bike. Also having this bike here adds a lot of credibility, a lot of street cred to this property, you guys. So as you come in, you come into this circular area where you can do a full U-turn. Like if you wanted to just come in, drop somebody off and head back around, I do love that feature. If you don't want to clog this up with cars, you can drive all the way down and around there to the garage and get the two, four car garage. We don't go in there, it's got a bunch of supplies, beach stuff, it does have one of the owner's cars in there, so we'll stay out of there. But there is a garage down that way. And again, last time I'll say this, all lined with gorgeous palm trees and immaculate landscaping. But if you came through here, a little valet drop off, stop your car, and just walk back in, and we come literally full circle. That brings us literally full circle. full circle. Back to the front entrance again. This place has been amazing. It's been really awesome. We've really liked it. It's been awesome for our family. There's plenty to do, plenty of space. That's what it's I think has really been great. great and why we went with it ultimately is because there was a lot to do for a family, for larger groups. Mm -hmm. You've got kids of varying ages. There is just something to do for everyone and you don't get bored. We've been here for a few days. Really can't go out, got a lot to do outside. So we've been camped out here and loving every second of it. So we hope you guys enjoyed this yes. full house tour. Awesome. Smash the like button. It's gorgeous, but it's also a scorcher out here. And because the beaches are open because we are in sunny San Diego. I think it's time we hit the beach. Let's do it. We throw out what you got on your whole cool Every time I drop it knock you make the school face. I can't stand to be around people who are too fake. I can't stand to do some business if you're too late. Dirty but the shop's pretty cool. <laughs>
We have just arrived at Del Mar Beach. Initially, originally, we were gonna be going to Mission Beach, but they had this dope sandwich shop that Maddie recommended, so we grabbed some sandwiches. It was right here, just up these cliffs. You guys saw a bit of a hike down to get here, but the payoff is not very crowded. We got our own little spot of sand right here. We're sunscreening up, got the kids in the vibrant yellowish green swimming suit so we can spot and identify them easily, track them down if needed, but we're gonna grab a little piece of sand here, have some lunch, and then get in this ocean. There are a few things in life these kids love more. There's some ocean waves. Oh, look at that. Tag team in the wave. There is nothing that these guys love more than being out in the ocean waves. You guys running from them, body surfing them, boogie boarding on them. I don't know why we don't live closer to a beach. I kid you not, I don't think the kids would ever be tired of playing in the ocean waves. Honestly, you guys feel like you go out there all day? Yeah, I want to still go out there. Once they get in them, once they start chasing them, once they start riding them, they never so ever want to come fun. in. Which is good. We have a little bit of an announcement today, a little bit of update. Are to you give telling you guys. them? Let's not do it right now. Let's get back to the house and tell them what's going down, you guys. You're going to want to stick around and find out because a big, late-breaking, huge, major shift in our lives. Okay, in this week, just went down. <laughs> we'll share that with you guys next. Back of the crib, back of the house. Now you guys saw the full tour of this place today. Pretty spectacular. It's gonna be hard to say goodbye to. Plus, uh, I have to go to the beach and enjoy really the ocean. Leave. Honestly, like I didn't know the beaches were even available. Now that I know they are, I feel like I wanna stay a little longer. With how spectacular this house is, the kids over there in the hot tub right now as we got back from the beach, chilling in the pool. We've got a huge, huge announcement to make you guys. This is life changing you guys. It's gonna be a big deal. We've decided to buy this house. For two more days. That is right. We are going to be staying here for two additional days. We're not going to buy the house. Are you kidding me? But we are going to stay for two additional days. We extended our trip. It was completely easy. Flexibility and flights right now. Yeah, Delta. Yeah, it's amazing. Pushed our flight back two days. So we now leave on Wednesday. We were going to go home on Monday. But guys, we're going to have some more fun here at the pool tomorrow. All day at this pool. Monday, so we're going to hit up the beach again. Find something amazing to do on Tuesday. And then back home on Wednesday. So guys, the trip continues. It extends. It continues to go on. Plus, more time with Maddie. You can never have too much of that. It's going to be incredible. It's going to be amazing, you guys. Make sure you come back to see what we do every single day. We love you so much. We'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye.